She's always here to support us in our efforts, and uh, we want you to know her and listen to her for just a few moments. First, I want to say thank you for allowing me to be here. This is an amazing opportunity. This is a long time coming, and I am ready to speak, so thank you for this, this time and inviting me. 33 years ago, I was detained in Las Padrinas Juvenile Hall, where I had, I would say, a caring experience. The staff there, they cared for me, they watched out for me, and I remember there were times where um, after court, I would be like, well, am I going back to Las Madrinas because that's where I feel comfortable at? And then after Las Madrinas Juvenile Hall, I was later detained the rest of the stay at Dorothy Kirby. Dorothy Kirby Center is where I met Rahman Shabazz. And he was a probation officer slash uh, social worker. And when I tell you that man saw me he didn't just see a last name, Ross. He saw me. He saw the things that I had experienced and gone through. And he has supported me through my life from 13 to 47. Anything that I have accomplished in my life, which is opening up a business, writing my book, that man has shown up and he's retired. His family has been there, his wife has been there. And I feel like that is going above and beyond a probation officer. And that has been my experience as far as probation. And I am ever so grateful for him. And I remember and, uh, during the time I was at Dorothy Kirby, Mr. Shabazz knew that I had not seen my mom the whole time, three years. Mm -hmm. And he knew what effect that had upon me. My mom was on drugs and she was out there in the world and my, my dad and my stepmom would come and visit me. But he knew the hole in my heart that I had for my mom. When, when, you're, when you're a child, it doesn't matter if your parent is on drugs, you still want to see your parents. And he saw that. My mom showed up to Dorothy Kirby one day. The wrong day, the wrong time, Mr. Shabazz was walking through the aisle and he said, who is that, my Sheikha Ross mom? Let her through. That man allowed me to have a visit with my mom. And that meant the world to me. My whole program turned around. That lifted me up and he saw that I needed that. He knew that I desired that and he knew the struggle that I was going through not seeing my mom. And again, that is probation going above and beyond. And that's why I think you guys make a difference and any time that I am available to show up to speak up on your behalf I am willing to do that because I stand here because that man has made an impact on my life and who I am today along with my family I run a nonprofit organization where I assist single moms I was a single mom been doing it for 11 years the last eight years, I have been dedicating my time to the youth at schools. I've had an opportunity to speak at Los Padrinas Juvenile Hall, Central Juvenile Hall, and also Dorothy Kirby. And it was all because, partly because of Mr. Shabazz giving back to me. So in part, I said, what better way to pay it forward Amen. than to go and speak into the lives of other youth? So that's how I show up and give back. I'm a community health worker, and I have done nothing but go forward. Mr. Shabazz, I'll leave you with this. He was long-winded, and he used to always say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And at that particular time, I was like, oh my goodness, if this man says this one more time. Oh my goodness, like, are you kidding? I had the gist of what that meant. But when I tell you that has been a part of my life all the way up until now, he instilled that in me. So it's not just about probation. It goes so much further than that. And that's what people don't see and that they need to see. So thank you. Woo!